Okay, hello to my beloved sisters and brothers. Um, this is for you guys because I know that I got some people out there that's you we always hear about the wealth transfer, the wealth transfer. But you know what God really did reveal to me? And you may know this and you may not, but even if you did know this, it's to confirm it. Um, a lot of people are waiting, 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 waiting for this wealth transfer. They're waiting and they're waiting without knowing. The qualifications they're waiting without having any preparation for the wealth transfer i'm gonna be honest with you guys you know uh whatever you're preparing for your extent of preparation is pretty much the foundation of how big your reward is or how big uh you know the assignment or the thing that god is giving you so you will know that personally i can't really tell you that everybody know where they are what you have asked god for and what you're waiting on and what he's preparing you for so the main thing is when you're waiting on a huge overflow and you're waiting on something big to happen you have to come to a place of full submission and you gotta be obedient and this is simple as that if you know that God has required of you to, to do away with something or to do something, you must do what he has asked you to do. Because being rebellious, it moves you further away from the big wealth transfer, this big thing that you're waiting on, this, uh, this new level of acceleration, this unusual acceleration. It removes you from that place. So in order to get what you want, you want some big, like we 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 high-minded we want big things we're in this world but we're not of this world but we want to do good we want to prosper in everything that we do so in order to be like that and to have that from god you have to be positioned for things like that so you know where you at so you can't get upset now because god is about to really accelerate and give some people some things that you may want you might have to watch them have it all because you didn't prepare the way that they prepare for it you see what I'm saying? It's like a Cain and Abel thing. You know, you can't um, get mad and want to kill off your sister or your brother with your mouth because they have something that um, you don't have and that you want it. Only thing you can do, a wise man will ask them what you do. You know, how can I be down? How can I do what you did? You know, what did you do? Pretty much. And I'm going to let you know what they did. If they got this big, wonderful thing from God, they were obedient and they were submissive. And everything that God asked them to do, they did it. And they did it. Even if they didn't want to do it, they did it. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's hard for you and it's something that you can't let go, confess it. Do not hide it. Confess it and say, hey, I got a problem with this. Help me. You're going to have to do away with some stuff when you want these big things in your life. And God is a big God, so he want to do it. But he's just like, I need you to cooperate. He need us to come in and get in line and give him give him something to work with, you know? Give him something to work with. He, he, he's ready. It's up there. It's out there for you. You know what I'm saying? It's falling, actually. And you're going to see it come left. You're going to see it come right. And like they say, it won't fall near your dwelling. But this is not in a in a way of being something negative. It's going to be the blessings. The blessings are going to go to the left. They're going to go to the right. Everybody's going to get it. But you, if you're not prepared, if you're not stewarding what you already have, if you have not been obeying and submitting to God. So that is the key to the wealth transfer. To and Not even just the wealth transfer, anything that you want. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And these things will be added into you. Remember that. Because that's the foundation. That is the root of everything that you're going to have in this lifetime. Without that, you'll be waiting and waiting and waiting like the uh, Israelites did in the wilderness. They died waiting to get to the promised land. You don't want to do that. You want to get it. You want to live a good life, a prosperous life, a spiritually filled life while you're here. And you're going to be laying up everything that you're going to have in heaven while you're here. Okay? So I love y'all. And I just wanted to give that to my sisters and my brothers that needed to know, how does this work? What am I doing? What am I missing? Why is the big, big, big gift not falling in my hands? Amen.